Hi! This is just a short video to explain how to set up and clean up the EEG system when you're running an EEG experiment. In addition to the cap and the electrodes, you'll need a few extra things to set up the EEG system, which we'll go over now. For your setup, you will need the following. Measuring tape, new prep exfoliating gel, paper towels, alcohol wipes, four adhesive rings, and a syringe filled with conductive gel. The first step is to measure your participant's head. Start measuring from the center of the forehead and make sure you measure the part of the head with the widest circumference. This measurement will dictate what size cap the participant requires. All caps have a label showing the size and the centimeter range associated with that size. Before putting on the cap, we'll need to attach the four external electrodes. First, clean all four areas with new prep gel. Clean behind both ears, next to and underneath the left eye. Then, wipe off the new prep gel using alcohol wipes. Now, attach the adhesive rings to the external electrodes. Then, apply a small amount of conductive gel to the electrode and peel off the white covering. When attaching electrodes 1 and 2, make sure that they're on top of the mastoid bone to minimize interference to these reference electrodes. Attach the third external electrode next to the participant's left eye and the fourth one underneath the same eye. Now that you've put on the external electrodes, there's just one more thing to do before putting on the electrode cap. Measure from in between the participant's eyebrows to the back of the head. This will help you when positioning the cap. Once the participant is wearing the cap, make sure that it is on as straight as possible. Then, measure the distance between the middle of the eyebrows and the edge of the cap. In this case, it should be 3.3 centimeters, one-tenth of the previous measurement. And don't forget to untuck this poorly placed label so that it doesn't get in the way of the IZ channel. You are now ready to attach the electrodes. Do one side at a time, start at the back of the head and attach the electrodes in the same order as they are ordered on the cable to minimize tangling. Carefully poke the tip of the syringe all the way to the participant's scalp and gently move it around to push hair out of the way. Start to administer gel as you pull the syringe out to make sure that there's no empty gap between the scalp and the electrode. Then repeat this 64 times until the entire cap is completed. The next step is to connect the external electrodes to the amplifier, as well as the two electrode sets. Connect the amplifier to the battery and switch it on. Once all the cables are connected to the amplifier, make sure you tape them to the participant's shoulder and ensure that there's a fair amount of slack so that there'll be no pulling on the cables even if the participant moves their head. The first step is to carefully remove the cap from the participant's head and then peel off the external electrodes. Never pull on the cables to do this. Instead, grab the head of the electrodes or use the little flap on the adhesive rings. Also, be careful not to pull your participant's hair. When removing the adhesive rings from the electrodes, again, make sure you hold onto the head of the electrode, not the cable. The same applies when removing the electrodes from the cap. Never pull on the cables. We're now ready to clean the electrodes. Fill the white basin with two to three centimeters worth of distilled water. 
When cleaning the external electrodes, gently rub them with your finger to ensure that all the gel has come off, but be careful not to scratch them with your fingernail. Clean the electrodes one by one by wetting your fingertips and gently using them to clean each electrode. Make sure there's no leftover gel and that all the cables are untangled. The cap can be cleaned with regular tap water. Use warm water mixed with a small amount of Dettol. Using too much Dettol can cause the stickers to rub off, so be careful not to use too much. You can also add a bit of dishwashing liquid. Clean each hole of the cap with the small brushes provided. Be careful to ensure that there's no leftover gel in any of the holes. If you prefer, you can also use a toothbrush. When you rinse the cap, double check to make sure that there aren't any holes with any leftover gel in them. If there are, clean them again. Once the cap's clean, hang it in the cupboard to dry. And just to finish up, here are a few additional tips that might be useful to know. Plug in the battery to charge before you start the cleanup. That way, it may finish charging by the time you're done. Put the covers on the connectors before cleaning the electrodes to ensure that these sensitive parts don't get splashed with water. Also, when hanging up the electrodes to dry, make sure that no wet electrodes are hanging on the same side as the connectors. Leftover gel can be squirted back into the tube. And always make sure you back up your data. If you have any further questions or you experience any problems while running an EEG experiment, you should contact your supervisor or the Decision Neuroscience Lab. Uh, thank you for watching and good luck with your experiments.